Another day, another 3D print. I am super happy with how this station came across. And I got a new idea last night for cleaning the resin vat. Um, you're s supposed to only use microfiber and stuff. What better than lens crease cleaning wipes? And these don't have isopropyl alcohol or at least a really minimal, like less than 1%. So I think those should work good for cleaning out the vats. I get those on Amazon, 13 bucks Canadian. So first annoyance here, no handles. And uh, I'm already mucking up this thing. So I found myself some handles on Thingiverse and we're going to let it howl. To say, I really like the menu system. Any cubic just... I just love the Anycubic stuff. It just works. Photon M3 cover. Uh, this is my very first model that I've sliced and prepared. So, mm, no idea. We go. And yet another functional print off the i3 Mega. Check this out. This is a new spool holder. I hope. Any luck, I should do. Anybody been around on the channel this long and remember the Solid Doodle 2? My very first 3D printer over a decade ago. Or around a decade ago? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I think this will be a fun project to dig this out because I want a printer for ABS and this was almost perfectly suited. It had heated bed, full enclosure, heated up really good. It printed ABS, not bad. With today's new slicers, if I can get this going again, I think it'll work good. Almost exactly what the slicer predicted. Pretty cool. We have two handles. It is nice to have this set up so I can do things like these handles. It is exactly what I thought. Incredibly wasteful, messy, and time consuming. Resin printing is a, is a tricky thing compared to FDM, but uh, it definitely has a place in my workshop now where we can do the things we need for real high resolution parts or things that I just want to have a little smoother like these handles, why not? The station and these trays, oh, so happy with that. That works just wonderful. That and this little roasting pan and now a funnel and glass measuring cup, super easy cleanup, all things considered. That pan just drains off, pretty cool. Finally get to try this iFixit kit that I got from work. This softener keeps filling up with water and not siphoning in. Uh, it, it does dump, but then it refills again. So I don't know whether there's a problem with uh, the rinse water getting into it or what, but we need it in here. Okay, this one opens from the top after all. Okie dokie, we got some stuff. Drum, water, cool service literature stuffed in here. That's neat it's only valves and this is the area i'm interested in here's our soap our water in and out but here it's this one it's either this these valves not working right or this isn't spraying correctly inside i do actually pry this off it was glued on and i can tell you that was a uncomfortable bit of time prying that off without breaking it but i got it so it's all cleaned out now that was nasty stuff i don't even want to know what it is some kind of anaerobic bacteria or mold or soap scum and i don't know don't even want to know but it was hard as a rock so 
we'll see if this helps a little bit. There's definitely this would pour right down into the softener and the idea that would, or sorry, this would pour right down in the drum from here if the water can't get to the softener and cause it to siphon. So yeah, we'll see if that fixes it up. I found diagnostic mode. <laughs> Mode two, and there we go. If you need high quality 3D prints but don't want to do them yourself, check out our sponsor PCBWay.com. They do high quality printing, PCBs, CNC and many other services. They support this channel and many other makers to bring content to you and projects every week. Well that didn't work. A little too heavy for those supports. We'll try again. Yep. Uh, that's not so good. <laughs> Still stuck to the FEP, but uh, yeah. Looks like they'll work though. They're about what I'm after for the PTO knobs for the three point hitch actually on the tractor. So should be good. Remember when I set up the station and I said a keyboard drawer would be perfect? Well, here we go. I'm just gonna put this together and then it will go right below the drawer, right below the shelf there. That way, the idea here in this small shop is to have the maximum amount of stuff on the wall and the minimum amount of stuff on the floor that I can. So this will give me yet another desk space without taking up any floor space with a stand like that. That takes up square footage and I need to get it up and onto walls. And done. So now I don't use up any floor space, but I have more workbench whenever I want it. Pretty cool. Basically, I wanted a place where I can set the lid that's nice and clean that I keep clean, not any resin on it, because this isn't going to be terribly strong way out here. But uh, yeah, not bad, eh? Pretty cool little workbench. It is 32 degrees in here and I'm dying. It's about 95% humidity. I got to get out of here. I did it. Held that time. Three hours, two knobs for the tractor. If you're not already watching them, I do the videos over on Make Me Outdoors channel of the tractor build and stuff. So a little bit of a crossover here. Kind of neat. I did add the handles to this too. I can't remember whether I showed. I used these Duramax Dollar Store double-sided stickies and they work just beautiful. I really wish this thing came with handles. I don't understand why they don't. I'm a newcomer to this, so I see the things that maybe people don't see anymore. And this is annoying. Like, Put some damn handles on. Also, this is way too close to the outside. They need to upsize this for the case because that's only millimeters away, like like mm, 10 and it gets, it touches. So when you're not careful taking it off because you don't have handles, imagine that. back to the shop today. These are new floor tiles. Uh, I'm gonna do the whole floor in poly tiles instead of trying to treat this concrete. I partnered with Viver. They're gonna sponsor an episode, so pretty cool. But I had this freaking good idea finally to get my wire up in a place where I could just unspool as I needed. Only took me a bloody decade to figure that out. And then I'm like, well, why don't I do my tape too? So I moved my uh, paper towels over and I figured I'd make one for tape. Why not, right? So I raided the dollar store. They didn't have any more of these style hooks that you just hook over and hold a paper towel roll, but what they did have is these plus broomstick equals tape hanger. So where they were taking up space on my limited space workbench before, you know this? How handy is that? 
I'll just cut the original handle and make some nubbins on the end so that it can't slide off and dump my tape on the floor. But it just fits a full roll when I had to reform those. But yeah, pretty happy with that. Material storage, supply storage, super happy with how things are coming along.